looking at you. Yeah, 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 yeah it's fine. So, um, how have you prepared for this tournament? Um, well, I was out in China about a week ago. I was out there for two weeks. That went quite well, but when I got back, I um, got the flu. So it didn't go as well as I planned and spent the last two days in bed trying to recover from that. Um, quite a bit better now, so hopefully the practice in China will take over the rest that I've just had and I'll be able to play well. Okay. With the new um, bat rules, glue rules, etc. coming in, how are you finding the new bat? Um, a lot better than I thought, actually. It's still pretty quick. Um, for me, the only difference is the spin. When you try to hit the ball hard, you can't get as much spin as before. Um, but it's a lot better than I thought it would be, so it's alright. What, what combination of bat and blade have you gone with? Then? Just the same as I used to play with, but like you said, in the normal shriver, the shriver high tune with the optimizer glue and the Michael May stuff. Okay. Um, who would you say your toughest opponent is in this tournament? Um, probably it's going to be Darius. I mean, the first match is always difficult. He's the second best player here, and playing someone from your own country that we've played so many times, it can go either way any time, so it's basically just who's stronger on the day. Coming into the tournament as number one, how does that make you feel? Under pressure? Um, in a way, but I mean, I just feel that I know that if I keep my head down and concentrate, I mean, even if I lose one match, like say, if I keep my head, then hopefully I can still go on and beat the rest and still win the tournament. Are there any other opponents that you find particularly tricky or difficult in this tournament? Um, I'll, left, at the moment I'm struggling with left-handers, so the Croatian born a pro battle I lost to last time. Um, there's a Swedish who I've never played, so I don't know, but the others are normally alright when I play. Um, but I mean, everyone can be tricky. So. You won last year. Um, what, do you, what did you gain from that tournament that you can bring to this tournament? Um, ba like basically just what I said about confidence. I mean, I lost the first match against Darius last year. Um, just went and focused myself again and then went on and won every other match and came out winner. So I think in this sort of tournament anything can happen, so you just got to try every match. Okay, all right. Well, good luck for the tournament and uh, thanks Thank for being here. Thank you. Good victory, how do you feel it went? Um, to be honest, I don't think it was the best game as in shots wise and rallies wise, but. Um, Tactically, I think we both were trying to change it and be quite clever all the way through the game. Um, and I felt that if I didn't think tact tactically very well and things like that, I think I'd have probably been a lot closer or maybe lost the game. But I um, didn't think I played as well as I can do or not even really that close. But like I said, tactically quite well and hit my head, so quite good. Did you feel it was tight or was there any point you felt that you were on top? Um, to be honest, from the like, first set I thought I was on top, but, um, then 3 0 up and start lost that next set, and then the next set went a bit dodgy as well. But I've had a few games in the past when I've been leading and then gone and lost, but um, today I started losing and then kept my head and went on to it. You pulled you, uh, your time out in, I think, in the fourth game. Where was that? Um, like I said, in the past, I've had a few like, games where I've been leading and then lost and now I've learned to instead of like seeing it being 9 5 up and then when it gets to 9 I'll take the time out. Before like when it's 9 5 get to 9 7 or 9 8 and then take the time out to try and stay ahead instead of drawing and then try and win. You've been suffering with the flu, do you think that affected your performance? Um, I think slightly, I mean I don't feel like I've got any power in the body and things like that. Um, if I stop for two seconds and feel my legs a bit tight and things like that, so I'm not trying to keep moving around the court. But at the same time, if I keep running around and things, it's using more energy, so I'm just going to try and see how my body feels, how well I do. You've got about, probably about an hour to your next opponent. Who is your next opponent? Um, Hugh Sox from Romania. I think he's got in this because he was the European champion last year. But um, he's beaten Darius before, he's beaten quite a few good players, so it's not an easy match, got to go on and keep my head. Is there any particular things you've got to look out for? Um, not that I know of, I've never played him before, but um, I think if I keep my head, I think I'm better in, in every part of the game, so I've just got to go on and play some So, 
halfway through the tournament, or just over halfway through the tournament, how do you think it's going? Um, not that well, to be honest. I mean, the first few matches I was like getting through them. Um, I thought the first match this morning I played quite well. I was quite surprised at how I played, and then the one after that I went on against Tregler. Um, I think I was playing all right, just concentration was up and down. And I think probably more I wasn't concentrating than I was concentrating, and I ended up losing that one. Um, so now I've just got to try and keep going and keep winning my matches, and hopefully someone will go and beat him. You've played Trigler before, how have you played I mean, have you beaten him before? Yeah, I think I've got a better record against him than he has against me, so it was my very good one. You just um, won against Tuarski, or whatever his name is. Chidorski. Chidorski. Um, how did you feel that game then? Um, I think it was, for me, it was just trying to stick in. I mean, I was a bit tired and not playing as well as I could be. Um, so, yeah, just tried to fight through it and make sure I won. We've got uh, four games left. Who do you think the most tricky opponent out of the last four games would be? Um, to be honest, I think they're all as tricky as each other. It depends on my head how I go into the game and in the game how I'm concentrating and things like that. I think if I focus 100% then all of them should be fairly, not easy, but they should be fairly comfortable learning. Mm -hmm. So I've just got to try and get my head right. Mm -hmm. um, Trigger has got, uh, he's just won another game. Um, how do you feel, do you feel he's strong enough to win the tournament at the moment or not? Um, I think, yeah, he's definitely got the game to beat everyone. But um, also he's got the game to lose two or three out of the ones that are left. So I'm just hoping that someone's going to take it. Hopefully Darius can. I think he's playing a bit better now. So he's, there's one and he's lost to two or three of the others. So, yeah. What are you going to do in, in between now and the next game to prepare? I don't know, hopefully I've got enough time to find somewhere for a little nap. Um, if not, just put my legs up somewhere, relax, and then have a little practice. And then after the match. Are you feeling a bit better from your flu or are you still suffering a bit? To be honest, I, feel, I felt a little bit worse today than yesterday. Yeah, like the night, yesterday, the night before, sort of thing. I um, slept pretty well like all night, basically half the day before. Um, whereas last night, I got back to the hotel and slept only five hours. So it's catching up to me a bit now, but. Um, yeah. Finally, presentation to the junior boys. In third place, from England, might have a bit of noise for this one, Paul Drangle. In second place, we have an incredible score. Um, in that Clement Drop came into the tournament at the last minute, arranged flights that arrived very late indeed yesterday, and has had obviously a fantastic weekend. In second place, from France, Clement Drop. And in first place, the winner of the 2008 Europe Youth Top 10 Junior Boys title. Again, a fantastic weekend. He looked awesome all the time I saw him play. From the Czech Republic, Thomas Trigler.